What is going on guys? My name is Mehul and welcome to your 6th Angular tutorial, Angular 2 tutorial. And in this tutorial we'll be looking at something called as events in Angular 2. Well, events are, we are very much familiar with them. We have used them a lot in JavaScript and in Angular 1 as well. And those are pretty much like how you make use of the click event or, you know, any other regular JavaScript even like double click or mouse down, mouse up, key down, key up, mouse move and all that events. So if I just hop over inside this template and change this a little bit, let's just say this is um, a button. And this simply says that, hey there, big angular bro. And the button is closed and why do we need h1 for that I don't know so here we go and if I look here is the big button well actually I have zoomed the page if you can see that anyways now how to assign an event to an element well there's a bit of syntax change in angular 1 what we make use of is that ng click and the function name here but in angular 2 there's nothing such like so in angular 2 what we make use of is the parenthesis and inside this is the event name which actually is the name of ng star here whatever event we used to write here so if it is ng click then inside parenthesis this is click ng double click then this is double click and so on so what this ng click means that we are actually registering for a click event we want something to happen when this button is clicked and what is the function name here so this would be let's just say mouse clicked me and this function right here where it would be coded well you could probably guess it by now that we'll be coding this function inside this because like in the last tutorial we just wrote an expression here and the value was coded here for this expression similarly for this function we'll be writing this function right here so this is the function and we don't need a function right here you know because we are working in a class and again I can just simply do like alert I was clicked something like that and if I hop over to this web page again, click it, you can see that I got the alert I was clicked. Again, again. Similarly, you can kind of make a counter out of it by saying that I was clicked times, times. And you could just update this this dot times equals zero or you can just do times equals zero anyways it's good and this dot times plus plus one two three four like that so as you can see now that it just increments it well you can make use of the double click as well so that it increments on a double click so if I just simply click it, it doesn't update. A simple click doesn't update it, but a double click would update it. You can see I have to press it a bit faster. The both clicks. So like you can make use of the mouse move as well. And you see it just runs like crazy because every time my mouse moves from one pixel to another this counter increments only on this button so yeah so you can just pretty much make use of any event right here and uh, yeah so that's how you work with events in angular 2 and you can just go ahead and try out any other event but make sure you enclose the event in these parentheses and yeah before just closing down this video if I just show you what this event is then that would be good so if I just console log this event uh, let's just change it to click again so if I just 
reload this click you see this is mouse event and it contains a hell lot of properties like your type click offset your page x page y position then if the event was bubbled or not client text which is used to get the position of the mouse then we have a bunch of stuff as well so you can you know just probably access all of the properties of this element right there so yeah it has a target as well so if i do like even dot target then you have virtually the access to this button actually so you can just get all of the attributes or the html or whatever that was associated with this button so yeah so that's how events work in angular 2 and that's all for this tutorial and if you liked it then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching